Welcome to The Man in the Middle, where we have breaking news. Uh, several sites on the web are promoting that uh, Dave Filoni has been promoted to Executive Creative Director at Lucasfilm. We're going to go to uh, Movie Web. This is where I found out about it. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Star Wars producer Dave Filoni gets promoted to Executive Creative Director at Lucasfilm. Dave Filoni, the man behind The Mandalorian and Star Wars The Clone Wars, recently got a major promotion at Lucasfilm by Ryan Scott. Today, March 20, 2021. Dave Filoni, one of the key creatives behind Star Wars for the last decade and a half, has been handed a major promotion at Lucasfilm. Filoni is now an executive creative director at the company, which seemingly means he will have a larger role in shaping the future of the franchise. This is something many fans have been hoping would happen for some time, as Filoni has proved time and time again he knows this universe perhaps better than anyone, save for George Lucas. While much of the specifics in terms of what this promotion means remain unclear, Lucasfilm's official website has adapted, updated, sorry about that, Filoni's profile with the title of Executive Creative Director to go along with, executive with, his, uh, go along with his Executive Producer title. John Knoll and Doug Chang also hold that title within the studio ranks. Kathleen Kennedy remains on board as president of the company. It is worth noting that on the company's official website, the only people listed for Filoni are Kennedy, Linwin Brennan, Executive Vice President and General Manager, and Momita Sengup Sengupta, Executive Vice President of Physical Production. Dave Filoni originally joined the Lucasfilm ranks in 2005. He was hand-selected by George Lucas, the man who created Star Wars, to help build the company's animation studio. Out of that came Star Wars The Clone Wars. While the show had a rocky start, it was it quickly became one of the most beloved productions in the history of the franchise, with the final season airing on Disney Plus last year. He followed up The Clone Wars with the much-loved beloved Star Wars Rebels, which ran for four seasons and was also behind Star Wars Resistance. But Dave Filoni has spread his wings in the recent years and begun to make his mark in a big way, his live action in live action as well, alongside John Favreau, Iron Man, The Lion King, Filoni stars as producer, writer, and director on The Mandalorian, deb debuting in 2019, along with the launch of Disney+. Plus. The live-action series has proved to be an enormous hit. Season 3 is expected to begin filming soon and will likely be released next year. Filoni is now working on The Book of Boba Fett, a spin-off that is slated to arrive in December. Additionally, Filoni is the creator and producer of Star Wars The Bad Batch, an animated series that takes place after the events of the Clone Wars. Several other Mandalorian spin-offs, such as Ahsoka and Rangers of the New Republic, are in, develop are in development as well. It is likely Filoni will, ha will have a big hand in those shows too. This is a move that makes a great deal of sense. Dave Filoni has had a big hand in so much of the beloved Star Wars stuff that's come out since Disney had purchased Lucasfilm in 2022. 2012. While he has yet to make his mark on the movies with projects such as Rogue, Squad Rogue Squadron gearing up as well as Ta Taika Waititi's mystery Star Wars movie, there is plenty of opportunity for Filoni to have input on that side as well, especially given this promotion. This news comes to us via lucasfilm.com. All right, people, what do you think? Is this good news? Is this bad news? Uh, if he's still working under Kathleen Kennedy, do you think things will change? I mean, uh, he seems to be a very passionate Star Wars fan, as well as uh, you know, producer on several shows. Uh, you know, he did work with uh, John Favreau with on Mandalorian. He, he also helped uh, bring in uh, uh, the Resistance animated series, which didn't do too well. I, hesitate to call it a flop even though it might have been uh, I think it's too early for me to be happy about that I'm still on my Star Wars boycott hopefully you know uh, if you know they'll announce Gina Carano will come back and uh, you know then I can come then I can come back but uh, until until then uh, my own purchasing dollar going elsewhere <laughs> all right like i said what do you think is this good is this bad tell me what you feel below drop me a comment 
uh, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, why not? It's free. All you have to do is put up with me talking to you a couple times a week. That's it. Uh, I'm Bill. I am the man in the middle. I will talk to you soon.